Location, location, kill it. Now, uh, by not being a national franchise company, how are you able to always, by leaps and bounds, you're always ahead of the competition. How are you able to do that? Uh, well, it's marketing, right? I mean, I, I uh, not only do my, I market my company uh, really well, but um, my clients do too, right? And they are uh, raving fans of Kittle Real Estate. Uh, you can see from all the reviews, go to Zillow, you can see all the Zillow reviews, the Google reviews, the right. Yelp reviews, uh, you know, I Facebook mean, I reviews. talk about you every day on the radio. That's true. You know, yeah. so, um, you know, and, 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 you know, and your endorsement's great, but it's because you had that experience and, mm-hmm. uh, and we deliver that, you know, kind of that wow experience that we talk about every day at Kittle Real Estate is yeah. what else can we do to have it not just be a real estate transaction, but a real estate experience sure. um, that, you know, that they're wanting to uh, rave about and tell their friends and family about. So, uh, so, you know, uh, most of our business is referral business, you know, it's repeat and referral and, yeah. um, and from endorsements like you that, uh, that people come and say, Hey, I've just heard that, you know, I, if I was thinking about selling my home, we should list with Kittle real estate. Um, and, uh, and then we've got a huge buyer team because we market home so well, uh, we have, uh, about 13 buyers agents, uh, on duty. Uh, at all times. So like right now, while I'm here sitting and talking to you, well, if my phone was ringing from on one of my listings, yeah. well, that would be totally unacceptable for me not to be answering the phone of course. On, from a buyer call on one of my homes, right? We so, would press pause. We, we'd let we'd you do to. your work. I'd have to. <laughs> yeah. um, but we but we have a system for that. So we have someone at the office right now yeah. uh, who's answering the phone, making sure that we are, um, you know, get, you know, getting them in the door as quickly as possible. You know, most agents are the individual agent model. Yeah. Uh, They're trying to do everything themselves. They're juggling balls. They've got all the stuff that they're going to do today. Well, guess what? Their phone starts ringing. Offers come in. All of a sudden, someone wants to see when their listings and they're not able to do everything. So even though I told you, Sadie, I was going to do all these amazing things for you today, you know, life happens and I get busy and then I'm having to to start dropping balls because I have to reprioritize as my day turns to chaos. Yeah. Um, So the power of the team, you know, by having 30 people on my team, we are able to uh, really deliver service and our systems happen. The processes happen. uh, You know, everything happens to my standards uh, on a daily basis. And so that the ball doesn't get dropped. And in, you know, realtors are not uh, really thought of very highly because it is, you know, it is a difficult job and we're kind of right down there with uh, used car salesmen sometimes, you know. But so are radio DJs. <laughs> yeah, so that's well, okay. yeah. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, that's, so that's what happens. You know, it is, uh, it is a, a challenging job, but it is hard to do everything. When you try to be a control freak and do everything yourself. Yeah. You know? So I've I learned early on that I'm not going to be great at everything yeah. uh, and that I should hire people uh, to step in and help me with the things that I might not be as good at. Uh, but together as a team, it's a, an experience uh, that we talk about having that wow experience, delivering a service. It's a, it's a service co- business, but um, and communication, you know, yeah. communication is really the key to any relationship. Sure. Uh, so if we're able to deliver and to let you know what's going on, um, you're, you know, you might not like the the feedback is, you know, we've had 25 showings and everyone's saying that we're overpriced, but at least we're communicating, at least we're getting that information to you so we can make that decision. Okay. Do we want to stay the course or do we want to do something proactive? And right. we're not, you know, six months down the road going, oh my gosh, well, why hasn't it sold? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, you're going to know, you're going to yeah. have that communication and dialogue so that, um, we can make, you know, um, proactive decisions and, uh, adjust accordingly.